G'day folks, Andy here from McDowell Manor. Thought I'd just show you the footpaths around my neighbourhood. See how brown and dead they all are? It's been dry. It's been really, really dry over here. Um, I'm imagining you've all heard stories about the Australian farmers, how much of a struggle they're having with the drought. A lot of us are donating to them to try and provide feed for their cattle and stuff. This is the little dog's yard. You can see how dead and dry most of the grass is. I haven't mowed for months. Um, the plants are doing good because of course they're all irrigated. But let me show you, uh, in fact, something about that. So regulars on the channel are used to the fact that I collect rainwater. You can see I've got two tanks, one on top of the other. Uh, the top tank gravity feeds down into the bottom tank. Top tank's completely full. Uh, and this bottom tank has probably got about three bars up, and that's about it. And I've been saving that water, that little amount of water for the fish because they can't take chlorinated water, of course. What I did that helped, and I'll show you, a couple of seasons ago it was as dry as this. It's not that uncommon over here. Um, but what I did to make sure I could get through when the tank water was dry was, um, and you can see, see the irrigation pipes down low there? Not that top one, that's gas. Um, we have our gas in bottles. It gets pumped into the house. Um, underneath there you can see all those irrigation pipes. They run all through the yard. Um, take water from the tanks, of course. But what I did a couple of seasons ago, I added these inlets on the end of the, each irrigation run. I've got um, four big runs in the yard. Uh, and you can see there's a little tap there that allows me, most of the time it's just turned off. There's a cover to stop the ants getting in. Um, I hook the hose up to that now and run town water through it in, you know, in the reverse direction to how it normally works, but still works like, you know, perfectly well, makes no difference which way it's going. Um, and that's kept me good. So thank goodness I did that. It was a simple thing, didn't cost a lot of money to do it. A little bit of dicking around, of course, um, but it really has saved me and it saved the yard which has been really handy. Of course, the only real issue with ta town water is the fact that I pay a fortune for it. That and the uh, tap is, of course, still covered with where my solar system caught fire that time. I haven't quite got around <laughs> fixing the paintwork yet. It only happened 12 months ago. Give me a break. I also thought I'd mention that, yes, indeed, um, all three beehives survive their split their winter split which is great sorry about the post um, so they've all got bees coming in and out i'm really happy about that remember i planted the potatoes i did an experiment and put some in buckets here that i a system i shamelessly stole from south poor davy well a bloody possum <laughs> has found the bushes and eaten the leaves off two of them god damn <laughs> I'm not really worried about it, but it just kind of struck me as a bit funny. So yeah, we've had um, we had a forecast of heavy rain. There's a little turtle dove there. He's taking the living in. She's taking the living in the yard. Uh, we had a forecast of heavy rain. They got three hours of really good heavy stuff um, on the Gold Coast, which is about an hour south of me by car. Uh, we've had rain to the north of me. I've got that little Sadie, she's just woken up. Um, you can see I've got clouds, but there is no water at Andy's house. The grass is starting to wilt over. <laughs> so hopefully I'll get my share tonight, folks. Say a little prayer for me, will you? Because, geez, I could use some rain. Oh, and maybe spare a prayer for the farmers out west and also down south because those poor buggers are really doing it tough. I shouldn't be complaining. Um, but I would love to get my tanks filled back up. Thanks very much. All right, folks. You have a good one, eh? See ya.